Hi there, welcome to livingonanarrowboat.co.uk. My name's Paul Smith. I've been living on my boat James, which is behind me, for three and a half years now. Uh, this site is all about life afloat. Uh, there's a huge amount of information here, 4,500 posts and pages uh, that chart my life afloat um, from when I moved on to James in April 2010 and the problems I had, the problems you could have uh, if you're not aware of them when you uh, buy your your first boat. Uh, let me just show you where I moor uh, and then I'll tell you a little bit more about what's on the site. Okay this is my narrow boat James it's a 62 foot trad stern boat built in 1977 uh, and recently overplated with steel. It had a wooden top originally. That was in a very bad state when I moved on board. The steel work you see now was added uh, two years ago. Uh, I then painted it and it's, uh, it's now in, in pretty good condition. This is where I moor. It's uh, at Calcut Boats in Meadows Marina. So behind me I have six and a half acres of water with an acre uh, island, tree covered island in the middle. Uh, it doesn't look terribly attractive at the moment because this is the 20th of November. Uh, all the leaves are off the trees and they're looking particularly bare but it's, it's stunning most of the year round. So that's what I can see behind me. Uh, to the port side of the boat is the grassy peninsula where I'm standing which is uh, very very pleasant in the summer this tree here is a cockspur thorn tree uh, very nice to sit under in, uh, in the summer so if I then go to the front of the boat we've got our woodland area there six acres of, of uh, woods mainly oak and ash also very pleasant for walking through with the dogs and there in front of me rolling Warwickshire fields uh, Calcut boats also are about 70 acres over there which I'm looking at over here uh, that's uh, all I'm going to say about the outside I'm going to go inside now because it is 20th of December it's about 4 degrees there's a stiff wind blowing it's quite cold so I'll see you inside. That's a little bit better it's a lot warmer in here it's uh, uh, 25 degrees at the front of the boat uh, which is actually too hot for the fleece that I'm wearing thanks to the the stove you can see uh, behind me uh, it's very comfortable inside the boat even though it's cold outside. Um, okay back to the site the uh, the site has uh, an awful lot of articles uh, um, on it. You can use the search facility at the top right hand side. It's a customised Google search facility and it's very good at finding stuff on the site. There's also some links at the top. Uh, you'll see a link to popular narrowboat articles. Uh, you'll also see a link to the forum. The forum is uh, where you can ask any questions you like. There are uh, quite a lot of liverboard boaters now who use the site on a regular basis and are very, very happy to answer any questions that you might have uh, where you can't find answers to anywhere else on the site. On the left-hand column, you'll see there's uh, an advert for a free guide. Please download it. There's lots and lots of very good information on there. Um, just to be totally transparent though, if you do download the book, you'll be added to my newsletter list, but it's worth staying on the list. You'll get a newsletter every Sunday, which is packed with information uh, about various aspects of, of life on a narrowboat. It's very well received, uh, and if you decide that you don't like it, then just a click of a button and, and you're off the list. So please download the book and uh, enjoy the book and enjoy the newsletters, enjoy the site. Uh, if you want to make any comments about the site, good or bad, all you have to do is use the contact form at the uh, menu at the top to uh, email me. Okay, enjoy the site. Bye bye.